take over that lane really well. And that's that's gonna be an issue. Nico Baby, because of this, he can still stay in. FNG still has a shield. He's got mangoes to refresh as well. Has the level two up, so Miss Coil or the Chris of Avernus could Bim. come out. Bim. He, he really went far for that. Limp. Free bottle refills for himself. You just S4. don't have that utility without it. MJ's trying to go after S4. He might just get him the fine spirit damage. He gets the kill onto the offlane elk basically on his own. Hanskin will at least be able to trade their lives. It's going to be at top, so Leo does manage to take it, and that is going to be a nice DD rune. In fact, he'll make the rotation down bot now. They want to start a fight with this DD. Limp needs to back. The Dream calls out. Leo, he does catch him, but do they have the damage? It looks like they just made, but the swashbuckle doesn't land. But they have the follow-up slant. Leo, he's moving in for more now. Onto FNG. You kind of resigned to the fact that S4 is guaranteed to have that first Axe timing at a decent time now. In fact, oh, mid lane, they found FNG again. Earth Spike gonna be nice from Hans, gonna slow them down into the Battle of Strike. They've bought enough time to allow the Abaddon to run. He's still being chased, however. Swashbuckle gonna be enough. They also lost Hanskin. Oh, the Dream Quill. They can't quite catch him. Meanwhile, mid lane, Snowball is there. FNG again being picked up on that Abaddon. S4, though, with the stun, gonna try and turn back around and back lip. He's jumped oh. in. A great Earth Spike into the finger, buff the egg, protecting for now. They need to back off, but they got Leo Star before they do. The Rolling Thunder is there, but is it gonna be enough to catch out Limp? Not quite, but they'll get Hanskin. Now the remnants forward, Limp wants to keep going, but the Sunray is there from MJ. He's still gonna go down, however, on the Phoenix. An alliance. They managed to come out on top. They may not be expecting this. Oh, target though. Chains out. Hanskin. Another oh great stun onto two. Into the hex on the Ursa. Do they have the follow up? MNZ, he's going to make a run for it. But they have got the task under control, at least for now. Snowball is there in time. Maybe you fight. The Phoenix in with the egg to protect. It's a great egg, in fact. Leo, he's there with the Dream Coil now. He's caught out too. They're onto Nico Baby. He's going to pop his own BKB and try to run. In fact, he's going to make it. The monkey's fine. But MNZ, he's not done yet. Wukong's command now to zone them out. Or maybe just go back in onto MNZ and they get the first life. They should be able to find him a second time, but a quick blink out. MNZ, he's just fine. Put out Leo style in the mid lane, so they know the puck's not around at the moment. Doesn't seem like Thunder Predator are aware. In fact, they're going to turn right back around with the Rolling Thunder. A double stun though, S4 with the chains out. They want to melt, but the Phoenix X there in time. And they're going to turn now. Thunder Predator right onto Limp. They want the Ember. They'll get the Ember into S4. He's going to try and run. The Sun Rays out. Oh. The burn damage is so darn high. A great Earth Spike from Hanskin, but it's not going to prove to be enough. Nico Baby now comes in with the Wukongs, but they blink right out of it. In fact, they're going to re-engage. They want FNG dead, and they should be able to grab it they'll ignore him for now onto nico baby that's the big target they want the monkey king but the bkb's in there in time they need the lion blink up to just get the hex off on one of these slippery heroes hammer in control and get Murs, the first Murs, blink dagger in they found fng borrowed time immediately gonna be expended snowball to stun him up boundless from nico trying to turn around with the enchant in they get the kill s4 now with a nice stun out he's got frank rolling thunder nico. not able to come out but they get the egg and nico baby he's gonna die to leo style now they can chase for more limp he's in danger with the silence out they'll find another alliance are they gonna make it in time it doesn't look like it it's gone so disciplined here, Thunder, right in. Nico oh, Baby Nico. on the front lines. Dream Coil is there. It's an Aghanim Scepter Dream Coil. He wanted a Wukongs, but the Egg is out, and now he's been stunned. He didn't realize the Axe stun is a lot longer. Thunder Predator, look at the shards out, John. The Rolling Thunder just going to bounce right back the other way. Onto Limp now. They want the Ember. In fact, never mind. They want S4, or maybe they want both. Why the hell not? They'll get the Ember first. S4's trying to run. The Lucky Shot out. Frank's got the control. The stuns are there, and that means S4's gone. A double kill up for MNZ. He's farming up that next Aghanims, but does he have the time? Thunder Predator, they're coming back in. There's your stun being channeled up, but Limp has been jumped already. The stuns are there, but he gets the Yules off in time. Frank not able to get the stun with the Rolling Thunder. Instead, they found S4. Coil off the mark. Hartskin still going to be chased down on the line, however. There's no getting out of this one. Got the Eye of Skadi up on the Monkey King. 
but he's got no buyback gold, and now the team fight started. Moose again, just trying to make space. A dream coil going to be massive from Leo to hold them down. He gets a snowball in time. They can't kill this man. MNZ, he's in. Oh right onto Nico, baby. Look at the damage output. Meanwhile, Leo holding the back lines, making sure they can't help out their carry. Limp's going to die. They need to disengage Alliance. They can't fight into this. It's a, a very steep grab as top lane, S4, trying to bum up that Aghanim Scepter. It's his job on the Alk. Just not able to get it done yet. However, mid lane, Hex out. They found Frank. They might find the Pangon. They do, but Limp was dropping low. Now the Egg, just perfect positioning. They need to aim something. The Abyssal Blade to protect the Egg. They can't get it in time. Or maybe they can, Nico. He makes sure it goes down, but it might be the cost of his own life, and it will be. He does not have the gold for buyback. And Thunder Predator, if they realize, they might just go high ground, but it's going to be a two-on-two -two scenario. Who's actually going for the Aghanim Scepter build up himself on the task. Oh, it's hard to kick some Jesus. people, John. Oh, here we go. Hard's got a nice blink away. Shards actually on target. They will get vision. FNG meanwhile also being jumped. MNZ with the control. The bash is out. They'll hex up the pocket leads. They'll hold him down. Wukong's is out as well. Maybe they can burst down Leo, but no. No, they cannot. He gets himself out. It lasts long enough for the Ursa has all these items against an alchemist that got free ags out. Oh no. Mid lane, it looks like they found out Nico Baby. They get the stuns, they get the kill. Still no buyback gold on the monkey as FNG also dies. Die back on the Abaddon. Now Limp, he's stuck in the Dream Coil, and there's an angry, angry pair ready to shred him apart. They'll buy back on Limp. Gonna move back in, but Leo style just dancing around now with the silence on the Ember. They'll go back around towards the tier 3 mid tower. Egg, gonna blow up. Do you go tier 4s or do you go Megas? They're going Megas, they'll go to the top racks. Shards on oh, Moose, he found oh. another S4, just trying to hide in the tree line, but Moose is all over it. He gets the vision, they'll get a full team wipe going. It's only Nico, Baby, and FNG left. And they call it, they've had enough. They have had enough Thunder Predator. Thunder Predator with their playstyle, they've got enough to, to buy space out for the AM to become a beast. Almost kind of just turning around and getting a kill himself. There are kills that could possibly happen all across the map. And it's going to be MNZ going down first. S4 will follow. Yeah, you're going to be hanging around, but it's really only him there to defend. Leo now would love to just go for an easy Chen pickoff. Meanwhile, bot lane, S4 does die, but FNG is now the one in danger. And he's gone. In fact, they even found another. They found Hardskin on the lion. He's going to get frozen up. He'll die. Nico, he's going to try and fight back. Moose doesn't actually have the mana pool right now for the black hole in terms of D push. Instead, they're going to head down bot where MNZ is slowly draining the mana away from S4, trying to get rid of that Ravage. FNG now also going to show up, but they have heroes coming in. Moose, who does he go for? Malifus, Black Hole, all being committed onto Hanskin. They'll Ravage up. They'll only get Moose, however. Now S4's in danger. They thought there was more heroes. Still trying to push down that bot tower. S4, understanding how important it is to make the space for his carry. More coming in now. Limp with the boots of travel. Moving in onto Frank. Great stroke of fate on target. Leo now. Aether Remnant. Ice Blast. All going to be there. But the silence there in time from Limp to make sure he can't follow up. Now they found the Enigma. Moose. He'll die. So it will just go. Nice tier 1 tower take for them. It's a lot of space out for MNZ. But you could argue the same for Nico Baby. He does have enough to at least buy up the relic. Oh. That's a big pickoff. Ice Blast, Cold Feet, all being thrown out, but the Earth Spike, Hanskin saving the day. Limp, he's still alive. Ink Swan now turning back around. Leo Star, he might die, and S4 does get him. But here's the roar now. Frank, right back in, onto FNG. They love oh. the Chen but a deny out. FNG denying himself off, it seems. Hanskin looking for that instantaneous hex on the AM, but couldn't quite find at that time. And MNZ, he'll keep farming up on his way to the Arshan now. But Alliance gonna move into the mid lane. Big Ravage with the Ink Swap follow up. They will blow up Leo Star. Just they can get once that mid tier one tower's down. It's very hard to counter out this Roshan while this is happening without a mid tier one. But an Ice Blast is gonna give vision and make it very hard. And now Leo right in into four, five of them. Finger out Hex, he gets blown up. Sort of line up with when Ravage is back up for S4. And they're just going to go and reset. They know they don't have to worry about a big team fight spell. 
It should still be able to melt it away. Ice Blast is ready from MJ Zito. And he could just it keep is. spamming that spell out. S4, he might die. Ice Blast is going to land. They got the heal out in time, but the Midnight Pulse will get it done along with the Malefus. Now Nico, he has the reincarnation. He'd rather not lose his first life. He can line up for the mid. As you mentioned before, Grimstroke can de-push lanes quite nicely, but the tower still melts. MG. All right, the Remnant again on target. Ice Blast to follow up. They just want to kill him off, but Ravage is there. S4, a good turnaround. Moves could not get a big black hole, however. It was on cooldown anyway, and they'll get the kill. Oh, holding the high ground, Alliance. MNZ going to run right in. They get the Hex off immediately, but a black hole is happening towards the south. It may not matter, though, as MNZ's already dead. You get S4, but was it worth it? Limp. Oh, nice stroke of fate right on target. Inks one out, moves. He's trying to TP. He is not going to make it in time. Alliance will get another. Nico Baby, the one to take it, and that's a great team fight now for Alliance, John. One thing you have to be really cautious of is Hanskin. That Blink Hex. Very dangerous stuff for MNZ. That Nico Baby just so confident. Onto the high ground. They don't have a black hole, but Nico, he might lose his first uh -huh. life. He does. Ethan Remnant, Ice Blast, Ravage, gonna be committed. S4 needs to protect. They found Nico Baby, however. They just blow him up. Now the Soulbind, though, in the back, holding down two. Both calls, in fact, but Limp is still gonna be in danger. He's surrounded. MNZ will take the kill. Now towards the south, S4. He'll TP just fine. But in the mid lane, FNG is gonna be another casualty of war here for Alliance. Like the fact that Limp has gone back now for the Agnum Scepter, wanting that Dark Portrait. Meanwhile, MNZ stun gonna be thrown out. He dodges now the double silence out with the Dissimulate, but a big Ravage S4 looking to turn it back around. They got Leo. They've got the AM under control for at least a little bit, but they've lost the first life of the Wraith King. Nico, he'll respawn now, but the Raw immediately up from Frank. There's your Ghost Scepter protecting the Nico baby, but the Black Hole is there. Moves holding him down, and that'll be the Wraith King dying again. Now the double stun out. Oh. The Mana Void everything just going perfectly for Thunder Predator to really feel yeah. confident enough to move into these team fights. Yeah, it's getting to that point. Oh. oh, here we go. They jump right in with the Yule Scepter, the Aether Remnant from the left side. They have the Hex out though on MNZ with the finger now, but MNZ just takes no damage. Back on to try and help out this Enigma S4. A great Ravage. He's connecting on everyone. The double mana drain, the soul by the silences. They've thrown everything but the kitchen sink, but they can't kill anyone else. Got the dark portrait of the AM again, so they know they can fight right now. They're trying to use it to scout for a little bit. Nobody can really handle that dark portrait. That Leo style needs just to simulate to get out. Ice Blast, Nico Baby immediately oh targeted. He's just going to die to the units. And now Moose, he's in. Malathus, or rather Midnight Pulse Black Hole. Ravage committed. It's not going to be enough. Nico, though, will survive. Into the tide now. MNZ, where are we going? Straight after the Grimstroke. He wants Limp dead. The Ghost Scepter gonna save the day for now, but Leo still on the chase. We'll go after Hanskin instead. Limp will survive, but MNZ still chasing him down. Limp trying his any way out. No, there is not. He's gonna die. Back on S4. A double kill for MNZ, and they are rushing for the Roshan pit. All to worry about as well, but because of that Octarine. The cooldown of the black hole is a lot lower. T3 tower, not gonna last. Nico, gonna jump in now with the hex out from Hanskin. Double earth spike as well. S4 right in. Still doesn't have the ravage, but it won't matter. Raw committed on the Wraith King, but MNZ, he's out of mana. He'll have to give up his first life, it seems. A good start for Alliance. Without Leo, can they really fight? A great Earth Spike, Hanskin with the black control hole. from the Black Hole. Moves is in, he's caught all three, but where's your damage? Where's your follow-up? The Ice Blast was there, MJZ, making sure they're good. Nico Baby, he's in trouble. MNC will get the first life, but he's right back out. S4 now, jumping back in. Ravage up in 10 seconds. He just needs to keep vision. MJ, he's gonna be sacrificed. He'll get the uh, the Chen creeps at least before the team fight really breaks out. MNZ again just on his own, just trying to rush in. They'll see Nico Baby. He's gonna TP, but no MNZ in the last second will drain all the mana and get so much damage onto Nico Baby. Where's the help? The team's left. Alliance is oh, gone. No. They've left him. Nico Baby oh, no. getting a black hole to death.
Smoke right behind Leo. Then OS4 doesn't have the Ravage for quite a while. Nico, look at Gelfin's out to try and clear out these units. Here comes the jump in neat. Leo right in on to the tide, and now the black hole moves. He's caught oh. three. This is really, really bad news for the side of Alliances. They just get completely wiped. Oh, this Enigma moves. He is all over the place. He's been That's allowed it. to greet out and they call it. Alliance. They call it. They can't defend. Thunder Predator.